Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Madam Shaza and I teach science for Form 1, Form 2 and Form 3 at Sekolah Menengah Science, Tuanku Munawe. On today's activity, we are going to do activity in your textbook on page 49. Activity 2.2 to create a model or simulation to describe the breathing mechanisms. What you need to do is to create a model or multimedia simulation to describe the actions of the diaphragm, intercostal muscle, movement of the rib cage, changes in the volume and air pressure in the thoracic cavity during inhalation and exhalation. And then you have to present the breathing mechanism based on the model or simulation created. And today I'm going to show you how to build a model to describe the breathing mechanisms. So the things that you need are bottles. I'm using this uh, soft drink bottle. Why? Because this kind of bottle are quite hard compared to mineral water bottles. So this bottle is suitable for our model today. Okay, what else do you need? Uh, you need some um, modeling clay or you need a plasticine. You need small balloons like this. Some drinking straws. It would be best you have straws that you can bend on top like that. Okay. And uh, some bigger balloons. Uh, right. And then you need some cutter and some scissors as well as some tape. Right. I'm going to push all this away. All right. So what you need to do first is to remove the label of the bottle. So be careful when using a cutter. Okay. And then we are going to cut the bottle into half about this way. We are going to use the upper part of the bottle, but we can also use the lower part. All right? Be careful when you're using a cutter, yes? Okay, so you already cut them into half like that. Okay, then take the two straws and put the balloons here. Since it's quite loose there, we're going to tighten it up with some tape. I'm going to cut this into half. Make sure you seal them tight. Okay. All right. I think that's okay. Okay. We'll do the other one. Okay, so now you already have two straws with balloons, small balloons attached to it at the end of it. All right, okay, so what are we going to do now? We're going to uh, tape these two. Okay, we're going to tape these two together. This is slightly smaller than this one. Okay, 
and then we are going to insert this into the bottle okay and take some plasticine or modeling clay And then we are going to attach the balloon at the bottom of the bottle. Okay, done. As you can see from the model here, when relaxed, the diaphragm curve upwards in a dome shape. During inhalation, the diaphragm contracts so it flattens. As you can see, the balloons in there expand. It shows that the air is moving into the lungs. During exhalation, the diaphragm relax, so it curves inwards back to its original shape to form a dome shape. As you can see, the balloon shrinks. It shows that the air moves out from the balloon. Other than the action of the diaphragm, the action of the ribcage and intercostal muscle also play an important role during exhalation and inhalation. During exhalation, the intercostal muscle relax, hence the ribcage move inwards. If I press the bottle here to show the action of the ribcage, as you can see the ribcage going inwards, the balloon shrinks, it shows that the air is pushed outwards. During inhalation, the intercostal muscle contracts, so the ribcage move upwards and outwards. As you can see, the balloons expand. This shows that the air moves into the lungs during inhalation. From this model, you can see the grey balloon here represents the diaphragm. Meanwhile, the bottle here represents the ribcage. The two balloons inside represents the lungs, the left and the right lungs. Meanwhile, the branches of the straw inside there are the bronchioles. And the tube that going outwards is the trachea.